hello guys and welcome to this tutorial in this video we're going to create the lamp and it's going to be really quick we're not going to be using subdivision surface all we're going to be using is edge split so we're going to do it in the small table file let's start guys okay this is the result from the last video and I noticed that I'm, I'm going to move this table in here because I don't like the way they, they are looking like maybe touching this <clears throat> and these faces I'm going to move in just a little c-axis to start creating the lamp like that okay so we're going to create the lamp by adding a circle which of course we need to scale okay I'm going to select this vertex in here and cursor to select it in that way the object is going to be added just in here okay again add a circle in edit mode I'm going to scale it and we're going to scale it too much as usual I have a number and I'm not telling you I'm not doing it by hand because I want that that proportion to stay which is going to be dot zero seven okay I'm going to extrude this in c-axis until it touch this line that's a good size and scale it This is the base, so of course it should not be with a hole. Okay, I'm going to change this. I'm going to be using one centimeter. Okay. I'm going to extrude and scale this. I'm going to extrude it in C axis. I'm going to use a number again, which is going to be this. Every lamp have a different size and of course um, to to know the proportion in the scene you have to to get a reference and get a good size so I usually give you the number but if you are creating your own scene what you should do is you should you should know the size of the object in real life in proportion with the others okay We're going to create. Okay, let me show you. I'm going to show this. And I'm going to tell you. <clears throat> I'm going to show this in C axis. Let me tell you how much. Three dot six centimeters is the number which means uh, dot zero 
and three six. Okay. I'm going to scale this less than half like dot forty five. <clears throat> and we're going to create a shape that is going to be like this. Well, that's too much. Maybe like maybe like this. So what I'm going to do or what are we are going to be doing is something really really easy. We're going to add a lap cutting here and I'm going to scale this. So we're getting the shape, but of course this is not looking really good. So I'm going to add another lock cutting here and scale it. Maybe like that. And another one here, which I'm going to be scaling. So now you get a nice shape and if you want you can add maybe a lob cut here, here, here and here and I'm going to add them and scale them because this is going to be Not too hard. Okay, that's too much. I'm going to scale it like this and this. Okay. So, this is our lamp. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to add a lapkin here and scale it just a little, and a lapkin here. Is that necessary? Let me see. I guess it's not. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> I'm going to extrude this and we're going to scale it. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to extrude this again. Um, extrude. Grabbing the axis, maybe like this, and we're going to be doing the same lap cut scale. This is going to be really, really small. You can use it like this. But I'm going to add the lap cuts just because I like it, and I will show you at the same time how to do it. Okay, Okay. I'm going to scale this again, just like the first, um, less than half, which is going to be dot forty five. I want to scale this a little. 
like that. Okay. But if I scale that, I'm going to lose the number here. I will lose. So I'm going to do it again. Extrude C axis dot zero one scale dot forty five and again adding a few lab cuts <clears throat> to create this object you you have a lot of options. You can do it and with subserve you can do it by just creating one of these edges and then create this pin or the screw here <clears throat> but this is just another way to do it which is basically by hand okay We are not going to be creating the light bulb in this video because it's not going to be necessary. And a light bulb could be a, a well done light bulb, could be just another complete tutorial, and it's not necessary. So we're not going to worry about that. <clears throat> okay. Now we're going to select this lap this loop here, I mean, and we're going to duplicate it and scale it like forty times let me tell you. Let me see how much time it is. We're going to scale this Shift D and I'm going to scale this forty five and then extrude in C axis dot two. We're going to scale the top of the object a little and we have to scale this C axis even more like scale shift. Well, let's do it by hand. Okay. Now, we're going to add thickness by extruding and scaling shift C axis. It, not sh it should be not too much, it should not be much. <clears throat> okay, and we're going to add the last detailing here. because this is going to modify the shadows later and I did a duplicate of the of the loop 
and I'm going to scale it shift I mean I'm going to scale it dot to 5 and extrude in c-axis x-axis I mean until okay you see that's what we want and this this place in here which is not too dark and it's not completely well without mesh okay from top we're going to duplicate and rotate 90 degrees and it should be matching this so now we're going to duplicate c-axis like in here and now this is not matching so let's scale we're going to scale in x-axis this is our this is the place we want to to get the edges and we're going to scale in y axis in here and well this is going to be our lamp I'm just going to add the last detail which is going to be really quick and, and easy Shift D to duplicate the whole object, object, and I'm going to extrude C axis scale, and there it is. This is going to be modifying shadows and things like that. So that's the main reason to create. We're going to name this lamp one and just checking if there is something checking but we're done guys this is a really quick way to create a lamp and you will notice that it's less than two thousand faces and with a modifier so that's it see you guys